Shout out to Mr. Brown, Mary. Mr. Junior. Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, this is Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on the legend and two big dogs in this fight game. We have the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fighter on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight world champion. Then we have Oscar Valdez, the two division world champion, and the current WBC super featherweight world champion. And then we have Shakur Stevenson, the two division world champion, the current WBO super featherweight world champion. And these are boys about to get it in. April the 30th is going down. But Shakur Stevenson has praised Canelo Alvarez once again. Said Canelo should be respected. He faced everybody. And you know he don't duck no smoke and he make people fight the best of the best. Y'all listen to what Shakur had to say. And I'll be back with the great assessment, family. Pushed up a little bit. Like, hey, this is the yeah. fight to make unification. Yeah, Can Canelo don't duck nobody. He fights everybody at the end of the day. So you got to realize um, if he's in his ear, he's definitely telling him, that's the fight that you need to have, and uh, you got to respect somebody like Canelo and Eddie Reynoso for making a fight. Once again now, y'all see Shakur Stevens praise Canelo Alvarez, give him his just due, and understand that Canelo Alvarez is an animal and that he faces everybody and he don't duck no smoke. He also praised Eddie Reynoso, you know what I mean, giving Eddie the just due that he deserved on making, you know, not making, but just the fighters that you have, daring them to be great and taking on the best competition that's out there. You understand what I'm saying? So when people like to try to shit on Shakur and say that he be, oh, he don't care about Canelo this, that, and the third. Nah, man, he always show Canelo the respect that he deserves. You know what I'm saying? Now, him coming back saying that, you know, um, he would beat Canelo Alvarez this, that, and the third, right? I'm not mad at him for saying this shit because you're supposed to believe in your skill set, things of that nature. But stick to Oscar Valdez and... Who you going up against? You understand what I'm saying? But nonetheless, it just shows you the respect that Canelo Alvarez has from these fighters, bro. It just shows you the level of respect that Canelo Alvarez have from these fighters. When people like to always talk about, oh, well, man, these black fighters don't respect Canelo. They call him this, that, and the third. That's not true at all, fam. Every black, mostly, well, I'm going to say majority of the black fighters respect Canelo, give him his just due that he deserves. It's just that cats behind there pushing these narratives be on different shit. But of course Canelo won't um, ask about this to take on the best of the best because you want to challenge yourself if you want to be great, fam. Especially over here in this gym. You don't want Oscar Valdez just going in there, you know, once you become a world champion and you got a big opportunity to face somebody of a big stature like Shakur Stevenson and you pass up on it, that's not looking good, right? That's not showing that. Um, you have faith in yourself, your ability, and your skill set. You know, that's not showing that we were, are one of the best fucking gems in the fucking world. You understand? Nah, man, go accept the best of the best out there. Go unify. Go try to be undisputed. Um, fight the, 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 the champions in the division. Do what I'm doing. Because Canelo is facing all the champions in the division. And Oscar Valdez is stepping up to the plate, which I respect, and you got to salute it, regardless of what you think about the man. The man is accepting the fight with Shakur Stevenson. Yes, we wanted to see the fight at 126, but nonetheless, it's a bigger fight right now at Super Featherweight. At 126, Shakur was fighting Oscar Valdez for his title. You understand what I'm saying? Shakur was just trying to, you know, break through and, and get his name known. But now that he has time to grow, right, won the world title at 126, even though it's a vacant title, Came up to 130, super featherweight, junior lightweight. Beat a, a, a solid Jamil Hearn, you know, for his WBO scrap. Got more experience on his belt. And now you're going in there with Oscar Valdez, who beat Miguel Burchett and, and defeated uh, Rob Casiseo, who was two fucking back-to-back -back great fights for him, right? And now he got more experience up on his belt. And now guess what? Both of y'all names are bigger, and both of y'all going to make more money. And the fight is even bigger. You feel me? The fight is even bigger. Now you even got Canelo Alvarez involved. The biggest name in the sport. You feel me? Now you got him involved. Him showing up, bringing his fan base. With Oscar being a, 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 a stable mate of his. And it just make the fight that much more bigger, fam. It makes the fight that much more bigger. You feel me? People used to go back and forth with who was the number one pound for pound fighter with Canelo and Terrence Crawford. 
You got Terrence Crawford and Shakur corner. You got Canelo and Oscar Valdez corner. Gets no bigger than that. Gets no bigger than that. You know what I mean? The winner of this fight will go on the path for power list. You know what I mean? So, of course, Canelo Alvarez want to see Oscar Valdez go up against Shakur Stevenson. And Canelo Alvarez have mad respect for Shakur Stevenson. Remember, Canelo invited Shakur to his gym, fam. He invited Shakur Stevenson to come work out in his gym. If that ain't a sign of respect, I don't know what is. You know what I mean? If that ain't a sign of respect, I don't know what is. But I'm just, I'm happy that Shakur is coming out. And uh, which he always expressed his, um, his respect for Canelo. But just putting it out there right now where everything's going like it's going. Where a lot of people saying Canelo is ducking this fighter and ducking that fighter. And Shakur coming out saying that Canelo don't duck no work. He fight everybody, right? It just put things back into perspective. So when these, you know, other content creators coming out talking about Canelo's afraid to fight this fighter and Canelo's afraid to fight that fighter and they praise in certain fighters and when those fighters that they praise come out and say that Canelo is not ducking nobody and that he's facing everybody, it just shows you the narrative that they pushing, bro. And I'm, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping shit real. You know what I mean? Canelo will face anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. You know what I mean? But the man is doing what's best for his career and the man is making history. Everybody knows it. Earl Spence said it. Shakur Stevenson saying it. Devin Haney saying it. Right? Terrence Crawford had to get a man his just due. Charlo Gim is just due. So, I mean, it's, it's obvious, bro. It's obvious. You know what I mean? It's fucking obvious. So Shakur comes out, praise Canelo once again. I remember when he said that Canelo has the best skill set in boxing along with himself and Terrence Crawford. Canelo is the, um, one of the hardest worker along with himself and Terrence Crawford. You know, so he never leave Canelo out the situation when he talking about the best of the best in the game. And that's why I respect Shakur Stevenson. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I respect him. And like I said, I'm not mad at him, you know, for saying that he, you know, feel like he's the best fighter in the world. Because when you're in this fight game, you're supposed to feel that way, bro. Like if you're a fighter and, and, and you want to be great, like Shakur Stevenson has the opportunity to be unified champion and a two-division world champion. So I'm not knocking him for thinking that way because he really believed that way and you're supposed to believe that way, especially when you possess a skill set like Shakur Stevenson, whether if it's true or not, whether people want to pick you to be better than him or, or better than him, you supposed to believe in yourself. And I'm not, I'm not mad at that, bro. I'm not mad at it not one bit. You feel me? Whatever sport you're in, you better feel like you're the best, especially if you're a professional. Basketball, football, baseball, hockey, soccer, whatever it is, you better feel like you're the best. If you're in soccer, I don't give a damn if you ain't Ronaldo or Messi. You know what I mean? You better feel like you're the best in that shit. Only way you go thrive. Only way you go thrive. You know what I'm saying? Now, this fight's going to be one hell of a fight. And, and, and I made a video when I told y'all Canelo and Eddie is going to tell um, Oscar Valdez, you need to take that fight. you go going to represent us in the right light. And you ain't got to be afraid to fail, bro. You ain't got to be afraid to lose. If you lose, you lost to a bad motherfucker. But as long as you go out there, you put it, put on the fucking show. But if you win, oh, the glory is going to be great. If you win, the glory is going to be great. You feel me? And that's how fighters got to start thinking nowadays. Fuck if I lose. Don't worry about the fail, bro. Don't worry about if you fall. You can pick yourself back up. You got to think about what if you win and the glory behind it. And, and as long as you put your all into it, bro, you go out there, you put on a hell of a performance, the fans still go fuck with you. The fans are still going to fuck with you. So people be worrying about the fans dropping off and shit like that. It depends on how you carry yourself inside that square circle and the performance you put on. Oscar Valdez can go out there and lose and some people can think he won the fight. You understand what I'm saying? Shakur can go out there and lose and some people can think he won the fight. That's just how boxing go at times. But the thing is, you go out there and give a great showing of yourself. And these boys can go out there and they can do it twice. They, they can do it twice. So we never know. But one thing I'm going to respect, though, is Shakur Stevens and giving Canelo Alvarez is just doing his respect. Because everybody should do that, bro. Everybody should get Canelo Alvarez his praises for help holding boxing down and carrying that shit on his back to keep it in the front where everybody can get paid off this shit. You understand me? And that's just the fact that it matter, bro. Just the fact that it matter. So, um, April 30th is going down. May 7th is going down. Shouts out to Shakur for, for keeping it trill and keeping it real. Giving Canelo his just doing his credit. Letting people know that he ain't ducking no smoke. 
Not no Cholo, not no Andrade, not no um, um, Benavidez, not no Better Beeb, none of that shit. Canelo fight the best of the best, and he's going to continue to fight the best of the best. You feel me? On his terms. Period. If y'all don't like it, find y'all somebody that y'all do like at the end of the day. Shouts out to Shakur for keeping the trail, man. Can't wait to see you on Oscar in the ring. Shit go be fireworks. No matter if you got Oscar winning or Shakur winning, the shit go be fireworks. And Canelo most definitely go be fireworks. And we got a lot to look forward to, everybody. So shouts out to these fighters who go out there and put their life on the line for our entertainment purpose. And today, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving on nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You want to donate? OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to fit it to gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status family.